So it's not very. Uh, it's a very hard decision for you, uh, because yeah. you keep on scratching the ear, which is painful and mm, okay. infected. So and was how, when was the last time you saw the other vet? Uh, last Thursday. Last Thursday, so how many days ago? One week ago. Uh? One week ago, there like was that. definitely bleeding at that time, right? He he was bleeding, and then but then after that in the afternoon he was okay already. So when we brought him to the vet, the vet couldn't see any. Thing oh, was it a lot of bleeding? No, uh, in the morning was one patch. Then in the afternoon, suddenly nothing. Stop. Yeah. But uh, the bleeding was inside the ear or outside? Outside, because also like that one patch. And it was outside. scratching like that? Yeah. But the after that, it was okay already. Not even a bit of blood? Yeah. After that, the whole day and the rest of the few days was okay already. And Until was it scratching today, the ear? Uh, at that time? That time, yes, yes. Using the legs, huh? Like yes, like yes, like then. this. So it's most of this inside the ears, uh. mm, something okay. has a uh, drop in or some growth. Uh. Okay. So when you, so when you see nothing because the bleeding has stopped, you see. Mm -hmm. So what do you suggest if like... Because it's two years, three months, so it's the anesthetic risk uh, you have to take. Yeah, uh. yeah. If, uh, that, that was what the vet the other, time, correct. the other day told me, because he might not survive this. Correct, we'll have to predict. Uh. Especially so but then thin. if we don't do... He's going to suffer, right? Like yeah, that. even though it get worse, he's kid. he doesn't eat anymore. Yeah. yeah. So you have to decide. Huh? Whether we do put him to sleep or. You have to decide yourself. No, I mean